Nailed it. <laughs> oh. All right. Rock and roll. <gasps> look at my baby girl. Is that my horse? I think that's my horse. I think you need to have a look at the map. I don't. I can't remember exactly where you left off. Where I am, what I'm doing, why. Oh, All right. So Jose is your next stop. Down here. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else we want to take care of in here, though? No, we did it all, huh? Mm, not right now. Great. On the road again. I'm gonna head down to my horse again. My bounty's ten dollars. Uh oh. Which is annoying because everyone here wants to eat me all the time. Gosh, she's so beautiful. I love her more than anything. I'm well dressed. I got a cool hat. Easy, girl. All right, girl. There we go. Good girl. Stopping on my horse a lot. Thank you. Bullpen. I think so too. Wow, that guy just complimented my horse. Sorry, what did Bullpen do? Oh yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, Bullpen Bee Swarm says, $10 with inflation. That's 5000 today. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. Do I want it? Yes. Yes, just save it. It's great. Let's go. There ain't been too many fiddles coming through. Back there, girl. Howdy. We have the uh, Red Dead Bingo happening still. Uh, yeah, Red Dead Bingo is available if anyone wants to do it. Let's go and make your card there. Oh, You're right, dude. I don't think he's very well. If you try to steal my horse, I will shoot you. Oh. Do you have health here? Sure. Do I have it? Okay, bye. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, so his point is that there is a plant called oleander sage. It's a pink flower. Don't eat it. Basically. Make me feel icky. Yeah. I've been eating Although if you do eat it, Arthur will just throw up. But it's not great. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind hearing Roger Clark's throw up attempt because it's it's not the most fun. It's pretty. Yeah. Effect, it's, you know. There's a few different versions from what I remember. I should hope so. Hey, hey, who's that? Hey, calm down. Oh, there's also a letter up in your room. Sorry. Yeah. What, Micah? Oh. Yeah. Micah being pleasant again. It's like a brook. But Bye. He tracks fools like flies to a turn death. Should I punch him? Can I? Listen. If only. So will be, will be. Ain't nothing a fella can do about it. Ain't no one changing nothing. I got all kinds of crazy in me. Ain't nothing I can do about that. Ain't my fault. Ain't no one's fault. Just oh, live your that's a life, life mentality right time. there. I can't help who I am. The who I am mentality. I'm always like, yeah. that's another 
fear-based security it's issue. A pleasant young man. If I feel like I have control over my behavior and actions, then I might not like who I find. Whereas if I don't have control, it's not my fault. Someone's singing, but I'm going to talk to Hosea. Unless, should I go see that letter first? Uh, go read the letter, because it does bring up another little thing. But um, that's just useful to have on the map. I would really if you like if my bedroom wasn't to do so it. freaking far away. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Unfortunately, this is 1899. We have not invented teleportation yet. So, so dark. Oh, Susan's reading poetry. Is this my bedroom? No. No, it's the one down the end of the hall. I could really tuck it away. At least you have a roof, though, in this place. Yeah, I do. That's nice. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. You're welcome. He and Daddy are still arguing, but mm -hmm. I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. From the turtle call? Oh, my pleasure. Arthur, mm -hmm. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change? And be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Jeez. Life is very confusing. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. No. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. Oh. It's not my fault, but is I it? need your help. Is it not your fault? I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Really, I'm doing a lot for oh, you Arthur. for us to not be in a relationship. I know it is wrong to ask you. Mm -hmm. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Oh, Mary. She's an emotional manipulator. But I always do what she says because I think Arthur's so madly in love with her that he just would. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Girlie said only when I need you. Hmm. I think Mary can sweat it for a bit. Let's go talk to Hosea. <laughs> Sugar Ella says, I just support women's wrongs for real. <laughs> Alan. Hey, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Someone is glitched okay. into the table. Hey, Lenny. <laughs> Come on. If we're going to make it to this party. We sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Age. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. Mm. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Are they going to put me in a suit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house. I like this silver bow tie. It's the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we fancy. will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. A 
Dutch is doing the most with that hat. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Why are we all slapping him? Bill in his socks. We are honored to be here. That's such a nice That's a choice, sir. You said white socks. White socks. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has a uh, thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Follow the escort. Sure will. Oh, the violins are going at it! For the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Mm. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island. How much you bet we were invited to, to do a job? <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? Uh, see, see, see. Ooh, yes, this guy is rough. Yeah, that will save you. <laughs> <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh -oh, uh, within Dutch. reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking. None taken. <laughs> oh gosh, she's so scary. They hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been it's wonderful really conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, oh, good day to you. Dutch is like, but before I mean you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any. Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now I could not involve myself in such uh, matters, but you. Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> Yikes, they don't like us. Yeah, Vim, they're in general just not great. Yeah. But there's a reason this game is called Redemption. <laughs> Freaking Italians, am I right? Okay. These Italians, Gentlemen, though. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Ugh, 
definitely said Italians, and I want to go back to Italy so bad. Oh, I'd like to go to Italy, please. I got to go to Venice last year, but that's it. I haven't been anywhere else in Italy. And Venice is amazing, but it is not, like, a very unique city. I want to see, like, other parts of Italy. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Some of the best we'll food, though. Go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. My grandma's in France. That's cool. I also would love to spend some more time in France. I, I actually haven't, I haven't spent time, much time in either of those countries, so I haven't really done much, like, culture immersion. I'd love to. Jen, you, now that you're a world traveler, favorite place that you've traveled to so far? Um... Well, I mean, it's only all around Canada. I loved um, the mountains of Vancouver, but if I had to pick a city, it would be Ottawa. Because nice. Ottawa, I don't know, Ottawa came at the perfect time. It reminded me of home when I needed it to. You know, I, I think I even messaged you saying I was feeling really homesick. Yeah. Um, and then we got to Ottawa and I was like, oh, this is London. I know this place. <laughs> yeah. London, but prettier. So I was just like... Yeah, I really loved Ottawa. How are you all doing? Renee says it's okay, Jen. You can say Winnipeg was a mind blowing paradise. Winnipeg was dusty. I'll give it that. Good evening from Germany. Hi, Robert. Another place. Everyone's in places I would really like to see. Hello, mister. to Germany either. There are many, many countries and cultures. I would love the opportunity to observe and experience. You're looking for the little yellow dot on your map. There are, so people in YouTube comments don't yell at me, there are a bunch of people you can meet here, but none of them are particularly relevant to anything. <laughs> and you're not going to be doing a massive collector mission, so we won't bother with that one guy. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves dark eats. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, cool off? Me. Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, God damn it. Bye. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the park. Just slowly picking people Hello, off. Hello, sir. Hi. Thank you, sir. My you pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can oh. still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! oh. My oh. Lord, Love being the booth person. It's like firework reactions. Ooh! Ooh! Mr. Cornwall was quite Ooh! insistent on the fate. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, son. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Come on. That's an adult who was paid to do that job. Hello, sir. Hello, 
beautiful. Oh. Everyone here is so very fancy. They're so fancy. Everybody looks so pretty. I like her dress. She looks really nice. I like her dress. I think she looks really nice. I like this green one too. That's really nice. I do love the style of women's dress. Even that must have been incredibly uncomfortable uncomfortable with all that whalebone and stuff going on. <laughs> Just, it's very pretty. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like Alex. Thank you, Mr. Terry. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. First time chat from Super Ben says today is my birthday. Happy birthday! Happy Marie, birthday. Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. Jeez. I'm sorry, sir, but the party's in the garden. The I wasn't. is purely for family. I do hope you understand. <sighs> Forgive me, I was... Dude, we're not even talking to each unaware. other. Flip in this house. <laughs> you should be fine now. Just yeah. stay where you are. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Could you think oh. you are? This I shoot him yet? Meant for the likes of you, you know this. Standards this guy is in this terrible. house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Warning. Get out of my sight. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. <sighs> I love the violins going at it. If you hold down A, I believe he'll walk a little bit faster than his amble. Oh wow, he does. Come back this way. No find out. Retrieve the ledger from the desk. No. Someone whistling There were bells on the hill But I never heard them ringing That's what it sounds like they're whistling. No, I never heard them at all Till there was you Inspect. Yeah, get in there. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Leviticus. Leviticus, what a name. What a name. They said biblical and they said Leviticus. Turn to touch the gala. Am I gonna relook the envelope? My bad. Yep, I got it. Muy interesante. Um, I have found renewed joy in doing my doing my Duolingo by mimicking the the weird voices they have in Duolingo and doing it very like they do it. Which is just like super over the top and over enunciated so that you can understand it. And I find mimicking them really fun. <sighs> He's right there, next on the left. Oh, sorry, I was distracted <laughs> yawning. Hello, Dutchy Dutch. 
think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Let's see. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Mm. Come on. Let's go to a high stakes poker game. That sounds fun. I took off my sweater because I was warm, and now I'm chilly again. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. <coughs> go home. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them <laughs> folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. <laughs> if you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Uh Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Cotillion. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. I don't think I ever realized how reconnaissance was Miller. spelled until right Fine now. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let's go talk to the dog. Oh, one big score. Yeah, only one more. Mm hmm. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. On the patch now. If you want to get downstairs quickly, you can just jump over the barrier. Wait, is it not going to let you sleep? Ow. I hurt my leg, but I sure did make it over. <laughs> this is fine. You can also jump out of your window and onto that little roof there and then jump down and not hurt your ankles. Oh, you know what I require. Oh, they won't let me get my gun out in camp? Yeah. Oh, I want to hit the bell! I want to shoot the bell. If Resident Evil has taught me one thing, it will open the secret vault. <laughs> Oh, Molly. All the way across the Atlantic, nearly as far as the Pacific. Oh. Always laughing at me, dying to me, and laughing to me. Really struggling. Hey, ma'am. You okay? You okay? Why are you crying, woman? Oh, Molly. Let's see where we're going. Ooh, we could do the Le Paul Austral. Uh, those are totally optional. The question mark in town is very worth meeting. Also, is that... There's a Charles chat. There's a whole lot of stuff to do in town right now that's worth doing. <laughs> well, let's go to town! 
Unless you particularly want to go and beat poor people for money, in which case. No, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Gosh, I I'm in love with her. I love her so much. Yes. She's so gorgeous. This was such a good call. Yeah, good girl. Let's go see how. We just need to get you in the daytime in the rain, and then you can see her really. Shine. Um, Shine. No, what do I want? <laughs> I want not the map. I want to see where we are on corresponding priorities. Everybody, of course. Hi. Level two. Woo! Okay, we got a lot. We got work to do. Clean, calm. Gorgeous. Grab. Okay, we're gonna put in some work with the horse. Yeah. Let's start feeding her more. Have a tasty. Not bad, girl. <laughs> She's my newest horse. I'm not slacking. She's just new. Follows everybody. Welcome in. Love having you guys. I see you trying to kick that gentleman. Did you see it? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thanks, Paul Gomez, for the bit. my bounty so if I encounter a single police officer they don't Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh. Oh. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. Nonchalantly. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean said, to welcome say, in. Thanks for following. Can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flats. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. 
I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government oh, claiming huge Leviticus, reserves of oil huh? under their land. So, you want me to try to steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, do Mr. Miller. Yes, you Gentlemen, are. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. You want to pick a time, okay. or just vaguely? We are very grateful for your help. Is he just going to hang out there all day waiting the for you? We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Who voices Rain's fall? It's a Hello, great voice. Mr. Miller. Graham Green. Apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting. Oh, I don't know. in the Green Mile, Dances with Wolves, Maverick, Wind River. Wow. Perhaps the cool. senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. I was gonna say, it sounds really familiar. Oh, I have a horse. Bye, Paul Gomez. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging out. Good behavior. Good morning to you, sir. Hi, good morning. So yeah, he's definitely here to bring some weight to the story. Good morning. Yeah, feeling that. Excuse me, everybody. Good girl. And he says Graham Green is a Canadian treasure. Mm hmm. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Oh, Not we're going gambling. So, well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come I just on. want you to say you that I about? dressed up nice and I look fantastic. And <laughs> yeah, we're already oh, fancy, Charlie. What, what are you I talking look about? Fantastic. I think I'm ready to go. What are you gonna It's it's me? because most of us dress Arthur like a scrub, so my friend here is in need of a new suit. I personally think I look fantastic. Excellent. Well you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. I got my boar. It's free, don't worry. Look okay. like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bit of is this what I'm doing? People. Just this one? This is all I can do? You can Press see the aristocrats a, uh... in this profile. There we go. I personally think I looked handsomer before. Might I suggest the fine three <laughs> town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's Was there more options up. that I just didn't sure. look at them? Probably. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. No, no, that is the only option. Okay. Now you have to go do your hair. Quite ingenious, actually. What is? Can't do my hair? He has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play kind of like, honestly. And the boys out on the town. And new looks. And quick salon stuff. We're hanging, money. you know. From the oil fields, come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You and don't you think they might see want. an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. 
Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Huh? Uh, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Buffy says, I love Roger's line delivery, yeah. Chapter 4 is where he starts to sound more and more done. <laughs> this unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly well, I'm standing department. on his chair. All right. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Just swept back. Oh, or with a fade. Make him look like a prince. Let's do it with a fade. <laughs> oh no, I really don't like it. <laughs> Give me it there. Uh huh. Styles. Oh no. Oh no, we did it. We're good. We're good. Yeah. We got the fade. He's already facial hair. Hmm. I mean, surely we should go. Hold on, I'm gonna get. We should go all in, right? Cause now, now's the time, right? Oh, extra clean shaven. He looks like a oh. different person. Very handsome. I don't have enough hair for this. Oh no. I could do this though. The Wolverine. <laughs> Sorry, this is this is important stuff. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> God. <laughs> I feel so good about it. So good. Sorry. It's like Tom Selleck. It's done. It's happened. I'm ready to play some high-stakes poker. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Pulse. <laughs> Robert the Rock says he looks like Magnum P.I. Grand Corrigan, sir. <laughs> well, look at you. Toad, the prince. Honestly, I looked yeah, way hotter before. Much, I don't know what you're talking about. Coach, we can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. He is Get handsome. He looks good. Yourself. He just looks very different. That him. makes me snicker. So, who's a mark? Matt Mania says, I have to admit, having a beard does tend to be itchy. I can't imagine what having a beard must be like, because it looks annoying as hell. I feel like it would drive me insane. Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. You guys are just little thumb catchers. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. She is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We'll search us when we get on. 
George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer. Is the riverboat gonna take off, though? Do we get to, like, be night. elsewhere? There they are. <clears throat> Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in heads up. The language on this boat is about to be terrible. Because they are terrible rich people, and this is 1899. Are they super racist and awful? Mm-hmm. Don't worry, we look down our nose at them. Okay. Just letting everyone know that they're racist and awful. Sorry. <laughs> yep. It's 1899. Times were Wait, Good I time. Already. The table's await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self. Look at him! He looks so different! This is he looks so stuff. different. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a car? Hello, Nemesis. Let's pick the poker table. Okay, follow. Strauss knows the hands that he dealt. Take follow seat, his sir. instructions. I will do my best. Ready. Good evening, gentlemen. So I don't actually play that. Yeah, this is this is for people that don't know what they're doing, like me. Welcome to the game, Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. Mm -hmm. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fare? Some better than others. You if we all high. fared the same in life now, so, where would the fun be? I thought they were going to tell what? me what I was supposed to do. I can do whatever I want. Wait, oh, hey, yeah. King. He says no. Should have brought my other wallet. No. Not my preferred title, but so we're yes, just gonna call. You should have. <laughs> <laughs> call, I guess. Like I said, Mr. Callahan, cowards. Take your turn. Are they gonna pull over any cards? Oh, they. I see. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to call again. Call. What the hell? Yes, call. Great. Someone raised it and I just didn't see that happen. 710 Queen. Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. Oh, we'll see about that. Wow. Hey, uh, we're going to check it with that guy. Don't do it. He's saying no. So we're going to fold? Because we're supposed to use him, right? Yeah, you can pretty much do what you want. Oh, I didn't, if you want. I, didn't, I didn't realize. Well, okay, wait, what do we have? I mean, it's basically Nine, all rigged anyway, so... Ten Jack Queen. I'm gonna call it. You know what? This looks good. Call. Look at that. Here we go, then. Well, hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Three queens. Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess so, it's just you and me now, friend. What's his face yes, is, is telling me. Time to see if what you're to do really the man you seem to think you yeah. are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know. I thought about Oh, that two queens. Thing, Heck yeah. I just look better in a suit. Yeah, that's what I thought. I would stick to um, oil, Mr. Callahan. No, we're gonna, I don't think you have a future on the stage. I'm gonna bet. You sound just like my wife. I need to win back what I lost. What did I lose? It's about 30 bucks. I'll, Playing high stakes poker. Raise. Time to put your money where your mouth is, Mr. Callahan. 
You're just getting all the cards tonight, ain't you? Oh, what? Call? No, for Raisin. Fine. Let's go. Hit me. Let's go. Raise. Call. Right. Give us a card. Give us a queen. Give us a couple queens. Okay, oh. Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. I think we're gonna be all in too, yeah. Now what the hell? It's only money. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Oh. Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with? Meaning, well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, so big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Did you ask me which shows or movies have I watched lately? I've been watching Shogun. I just watched The People vs. O.J. Simpson for the Don't first worry, time because I didn't Everyone see it back when it was a big hit FX phenomenon. Um, and... I really tried to finish season two of Foundation, but it just wasn't watchable for me. This is gonna be a long game. Pair of Kings! Have you ventured into Fallout yet? Uh, no, but I've heard it's very good. Is it good? I've only seen the first episode well, myself, but yeah, it was pretty good. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. What do you mean? Uh oh. Okay. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? I Gentlemen, poker please cash these out for me. I, I started. Last um. Week. So yeah, are we liking Fallout, Jen? Good. Sure. Uh, chat is, yeah, I like the first episode, that's all I've had time to watch so far. Great, I love when good they have good gentlemen. video game adaptions. Yeah, it seems to have hit the marks for the people that are big Fallout fans. Great. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I'm just I've ignoring him completely. Little law giver right here. Sunny, ooh, wow, high praise. Good. Alongside Last of Us, so it's good, good. Great, I look forward to watching it. I'm Next. probably going to finish Shogun we'll first. Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. This Indeed. guy. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Did so. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Loot the safe. Will do. Idiot, huh? Ah! Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. 
can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. We're just making hey, powerful enemies all over the sure. place. Yeah. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Gunshot. It sounded like one. Come on. <laughs> Anubis Hawk. Yes, put that on your used to die bingo card. How exactly are we Mark it off. Out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planet. Oh garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days anyway we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy which it surely will to the bar senor i hope you had fun sir <laughs> in the time of my life <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. <laughs> Shoot that man. <laughs> I <laughs> They rushed me. <laughs> Checkpoint. We... You don't want to restart the whole mission? Mm -mm. <laughs> Why not? We need to get out of here. Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know. This ain't my show. <laughs> Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gun to it. I'm supposed to be following. Wee! Jump in the water. Swim. Pray for no alligators. <laughs> Something just touched my leg. Woo! <laughs> well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So. How much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Water damage, question mark? Sweet watch, it's uh, completely destroyed by water, but <laughs> other than that... Anyway, we don't talk about that. You? You're just soft and I like you. Oh, mm, smog. Oh, that's my poor kitten right there. Morning. Okay, 750 bucks? Alright. Nice. But have Ooh, you seen right. my goodest girl? Hey, you're right next to Mary. Yeah, well, oh, Mary's a mess. Mm. Mary There's also Charles, um, Charles Chatney, the artist. 
around here. Uh, oh, it's not up at the moment. Actually, let's go see Mary because I look ridiculous and I want her to be like, oh, wow, you, you've changed. Fine, we're doing Mary simply out of I look cool right now. So I'm going to go Arthur! Arthur! I'm going to go look at my ex when I'm feeling hot. Yeah. I didn't really come. Okay. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. I don't trust this, Arthur. Oh, no. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Travick, so, thank you for subscribing. Call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. You should What's not wrong? give her that power. Daddy. Daddy. Father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. Ooh. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely Daddy. you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and well, wanting better for her than... You. Than, than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. True. Be kind to me. Please. Like Shumba, I like the color of your Sorry. username in chat. I am. He I should have him. asked someone else. But. But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't love so much you, hat. <laughs> Arthur. I love the hat. Jen, I feel great about the hat. Oh, we Arthur. So very young. We think were so very young. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? No. Please. You came all Come along, then. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Come. Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, I do not need to help you with this man. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Hmm. Something about a horse. I do He's love a stable. The water in the warehouse I do love a horse. Near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit How you. was that Should pompous? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy alone. He Mary. suffers enough. Well, You're I a lot. I can take some Mary is now. doing the most. Oh, Arthur, you were a choice. I should have ran away with you years ago. But you didn't. Well, you um, no, I didn't. But. Well. Which, for the record, Mary. I don't know. I don't fault you for I think that's a great choice. If the this part. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to I ride just around on really some weird. old nag. Fine. Standing? <laughs> he's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this I do way, get to share my horse, though. But I feel really good about that. He has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. She's speaking so casually people. while I'm. I'm just scared for. Doing him. absolute barrel racing chaos. <laughs> Come on, jump it, jump it. Move, move. What the problem? Ain't you got? Yeah, Mary. That could be you, but it just isn't. This is the place. Well, excuse me while I take care of the real woman in my life. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, yeah, hold on. She needs a snack. She's hungry. Mm. 
No, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. Let me Let's go, go in and see what kind of a state he's in. What am I supposed to help you with then? Oh, wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Scream if you need any help. Whoa. I like how sarcastic he's being. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it Sorry. your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. A fine lady. <laughs> just go inside. He said smack. I wasn't waiting Let me on talk this to lady. you. Come here. You'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate, irritate me, me, I'll kill you. It's so much hat. It's make so my much hat. To the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have unwell. no such thing. Your dress is glitching, woman. Home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Yeah, okay. your dress is glitching hard. I look great. How great this jacket looks on me. This way. Woo! It's green, too. A long green coat. Mm. Tasty. He went around the corner. Yeah, Mary. I has eyes. Feeling sarcastic. Feeling very much not like a... Hold get on. to side with Mary. She needs to do more to make me like her. Yourself. I'll treat her well. I'll do everything she asks. I'm just gonna grumble about it a little bit. <laughs> Arthur, I'm gonna be a great person. I'm still here for Anubis. <laughs> Anubis the Hawk in the chat says, I hope your vibration is on. <laughs> on the Let's remote? Rewind, just a second. Mm. Yeah, the, the controller vibrates in response to something Mary does. <laughs> no, it Come here. is on. Wait. Oh. Mind uh, yeah, go. my vibration is on. Mind where you go. Sorry? That's so funny. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so. it made his heart go but um but um but um but um This is why he 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 just would do what she says because his she heart's just him like ah! yeah. Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. What's that old saying? The heart wants what it wants, even if it's incredibly bad for you. <laughs> you could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize. Ma'am, I, I look fantastic right now! I got gel in my hair. My <laughs> beard is trimmed in ways it shouldn't be. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Mary, if you tell me where your dad out. went one more time. Don't lose sight of him. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Mm -hmm. She said you could have cleaned yourself up. Do you see this coat? I look amazing! Ugh. Ungrateful. What if you led with, wow. You're so attractive, and no matter what you wear. <laughs> Snowcone says, where's Aslan off? with the dramatic piano notes when we need them? <laughs> so true. Azzy, What's he doing? You're slacking. What do you think he's doing? He's well, slacking, my sweet Waiting for a woman of dubious morals. He's trying to sell some. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. Family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. That was mother's brooch. 
Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Thank, thank you. Me. Thank you, all of you. To me! You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, Daddy's sir. Daddy's been Have struggling. You been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. No promises. You probably killed someone. Yeah, maybe. We'll see how I feel. Uh, if they could find the brooch. Hey, you Ashton, hold her right there. Oh! God damn it! Time to steal a horse. No, this is my horse, isn't it? Nope. That's oh, it's girl. Not. Hey, stop that coach. There, girl. Get back here. My horse. You hear me? Stop the damn coach! <laughs> Chasing Lopez says it's God Nicole's God. horse now. So true. I'm not a huge fan of this horse. I really want mine. I like her a lot. You stop right now! I don't want to shoot you guys, but like, I will. Yep, this is one for the bingo cards. Road unearned horse. Am I in a Wells Fargo wagon? I caught a Wells Fargo wagon is on time and down the lane, oh please let it be upon you, etc. I dab a bum, but I put a 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 put You're making a big mistake! Excluded spot! No, I'm going to excluded spot. Do it. I got a big hat, and I'm not afraid to use it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Get that price down a little bit. <laughs> Nicole is choosing violence. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say... 50. Watch this. One more. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, We're Jesus. negotiating. $25, that's my final offer. I'll take it. Here. Here, yeah, take the damn thing. Will do. Have a great day. Pleasure Crazy doing business. son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Well. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Happy. Oh, look at me on my beautiful horse. Beautiful. Nicole knows how to haggle, thank you. I also keep punching. I was happy with 25. The guy did buy it fair and square. It's not really his fault. Apparently, he's Remind me never person. to go to a market with you. The thing is, <laughs> in real life, I it's one of my like deeply Fuck. uncomfortable things. I'm like, oh, I don't yeah. want to ask <laughs> for less. Like, what if this is what you need? You know. Really. Um, but I walk. love and respect and actually take find it try. super Thank cool you. when someone else is like good at just no problem asking for less. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Got you your brooch back. <laughs> Look at you go. I won't ask. Probably best not. I feed into alligators just for people wondering. Hey. <laughs> you pick up the man and feed him the alligators? Now? Practice yeah. ailment. Why, yes. Mary, I'm busy. No, I don't want to well, go on a I date. Was wondering if you wanted to do something. 
Head to the theater, perhaps. <gasps> you don't have to do it. But I do love the theater. Is she You do tired? love the theater. <laughs> theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest Look, acts. I'll go on a date. Strangest I can that? handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... You ain't always fair with me. True. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you, you hanged a long you. time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> that's true. So, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our son. I'm listening. Just want you to know. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. <laughs> Please hold. I actually do need to respond to this email really fast. I'll be so quick. Ba -da -ding. Ba -da -ding. Game like him just resubbed. Ba -da -ding. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. She said multitasking. Splish, splash, and you're taking a bath. How is that, Olive? Okay, back. Here we go. We're going to the theater with Mary. This better be a good show. Welcome! <laughs> is it the and same thank show? thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. The soft water noises was my first change, for the record. When I walked the horse manure covered streets You can also look at Mary while this is happening and try and put the moves on if you really want to. <laughs> Are you in a rush, Arthur? Not yet, apparently. <laughs> Check back now and again. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three. If you have a settled aversion to manual labor, you have a sleepy kitty on your lap. Is a gift that will see you through the winter better yeah, than the water is my fish tank. I need to fill it. It sounds loud. Full of oh, God. I just looked at Bean. She's sleeping with her face planted in a pillow. Total face plant. I want to stick my face in the floor. And I honestly think I might. It just seems like a good use of my time. I'm on a date with someone who has been a troublesome relationship in the past. So, make a move! We're doing it. Freaking cowboy, of course I'm making a move. On the steel horse bar ride. Oh, I'm busy. Stop. But, she did look at me, so it was not a me 
immediately encouraged. There's a song for you. I don't know the song, but I just can make it happen. Loosen them stirrups and let them go. Pretty young things say, Come with me in the parlors and brothers of Sandy. Porter is drinking and the whistle just blew. The train's ahead and to the land of Boo Boo. You won't sleep away. We got guarantees. Go drink it down and say, Yes, we're bobbing and chat. Love this team. There's dancing and singing and howling at the moon and the streets and now. Well, there's a beach saloon, rich and the poor and the bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie, duh. I knew that. Friends didn't really give us much. Can't you see? I'd rather live in San Denis. Yes, I'd rather live in San Denis. So draw your money, come see your honey in old San Denis. Very good. Very good. That was excellent. I'm not making fun of characters, I would never. Ba -ba -da -ba -da wow, that's gonna be stuck in my oh, head there you go. for the rest of the day. <laughs> Lawless, perfect. Oh, I Her see dulcet you, you tones. Dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle. Pure spectacle. I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. Thanks, Olive. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Can we all just take another second look at this Stop it. antique teacup that my love brought to me from Japan? Wow. So because I'm, I love it so much. It brings me a lot of joy. Wow! Also, her outfit is super cool, and I have a feeling there's gonna be more flames soon. Yes. Oof, I see that. Oof, look at me. I got flames on my hips. I'm a belly dancer with flames on my you can hips. can see how this could go horribly wrong. I'm gonna cheer really hard for all of the women so that she knows that I could be elsewhere. <laughs> if you press antagonize here, Arthur yells at them to catch on fire. <laughs> it's really mean. Bring it! Belly dancers are crazy. It's like they just completely dislocate their hips from their bodies. I can't think of anything worse. Yeah, fire lady! Fire lady! It's just such a. Speak boy cowboy. Yeah! Our lady! Yep, yep! yep. Alright, I'm leaving you, Mary Bye. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Well, oh, don't invite her to come with. Just okay, leave. sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna kiss. Alright, you better vibrate. take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. Quite ridiculous. 
But shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Yes. I can't lie to you. I wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. What if they gave me that option? I want to. I want anything I want to. Two very different games. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need That's money. Baby. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. And therein, I think we have our premise for GTA 6. The runaway with me right now. Bonnie and Clyde situation. I'll write you. Girl, your daddy's not wrong. I do think you can. I don't know. Probably do better. Find yourself a city person. Be reasonable. You're just attracted to his charming mystery, dashing good looks, and it is because of his fantastic beard that I have to do. It's it's the hat. Mm -hmm. The big old hat. Ha! Ah, can I pay my? I'd like to pay my bounty, please. Happy to help you start over. Maybe you stop and think about your actions next time. Maybe you mind your business. You're a All postal right. worker. Leave me alone. Send your letters. Hush. We're grateful for your service. Don't have opinions about mine. But you're like completely right, actually, so. Go for it. Not again. <laughs> My horse is out of whistling range. Unacceptable! No, no. Mary Dunn did drop me off away from my horse. Oh, is that guy there to your right? There is someone you can kill here without any repercussions. Oh. I don't think that they because we'd have heard them shouting by now, so never mind. I feel like I need to kill someone. Great, we really <laughs> are just headed back. Why is your horse over there? I don't know. What is Can what? What? We're gonna head here. Ooh, Ow. Sadie! Are we finally getting a Sadie mission? Hey, Susie. <gasps> Hello, hey, Horse Susie, Nation. You're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Susie. Hey, 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 Susie. <laughs> what you up to, girl? Hi. Hey, your horse is in whistling range now, so you should be Can I shoot this guy? No. What is your horse doing? Are they, are they stuck? Weird. Mister? Oh, does a stranger want something? Yeah, sure. Go get yourself some to eat. I want you to have this. Thanks, what friend. Is it? Special snake oil. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Oh, thanks, man. Easy, girl. I need to have some money like a goddamn worm. Probably near others. Whoa! <laughs> wow, why is it so yeah. dusty? You're all right. Of the lighting. Oh, I love my horse so much. Right. You might need to stop somewhere and get some horse supplies at some point. It's like you're running low on snacks. No, Go down no, to the celery. Yeah, we do. We like some celery. 
So it makes her happy, yeah? We're just building horsey points. That's all that's happening. Wow, all look at right, this light. Hey, you're okay, girl. Okay, girl. Feels dramatic. What's wrong? Should I hunt? I've not brought anything back to camp in a hot second. What do I have? Uh, you can't put the pigs on the back of your horse. They're too heavy for some reason. But huh? yeah, you could hunt something else. Where's my bow and arrow? There it is. Bound to be a deer around somewhere. You're telling me I could put like a whole... Yeah, but you can't put the balls on your horse. For some reason. I don't know why that reason is. Hi, beloved dollmaker. You're not super duper late. I was super duper early. Done good, girl. Oh, it's raining, but it's not daytime. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'll bring nothing back. Let's go talk to Sadie. Gentlemen, how are you keeping it? Girls ain't happy. Sadie's in the house. Susie, what are you up to? How's your day? How's your afternoon? Oh, I just passed her. Hey, ma'am. I just hung out with the other lady a whole lot. Let's How you doing, Mr. chat Tyler? with you. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the... San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. Enjoy. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I yeah. wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Get rid of Make him. Make him change. Very funny. Figo's back from the what hairdresser. Figo, do you feel fabulous? Uh. It's what the hell have they done Holy to me? Cow. Hey, in the tree line. Everybody, take cover. Our Driscoll boys are coming. Oh my God, that's awful. Why am I not aiming? You, they're too far. You're using a sawn-off shotgun. They're too far away for you to hit anything. Why am I using that? You have your repeater on you. Come on, quick! I don't know how you are. Don't let anyone back to that door! Arthur! I was gonna show you what I did! I 
are we not shooting? Because you're up against the wall. Go back inside the house. Everyone, stay calm. We need something in front of that door. Yeah. Arthur, move that bookcase. Come on. Bookcase. He don't need help. <laughs> hey, girl. Why didn't you get inside? Hey, you doing, lovely? This? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. I feel like Odriscoll's is her favorite pasta. <laughs> Curly said, let's shoot him from here. All right, come in. I would love if you would aim your gun or do anything I'm asking of you. Ow! Tonic. Oh gosh! Ha ha ha! Hell tonics. This one. Drink it. Yeah. You're fine. Why won't they let me back in this house? Okay. Sorry, I'm coming. I wasn't feeling good, Katie, and you said go back to the house. We got them. No one got away. Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace yes. near, but not too near? Of course. A Charles, moment to appreciate how badass Sadie we looks right now. Up. Yeah, Mr. Was... Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, Sweet. already taking care of it. The Come other on, woman that is past done. Comb O'Driscoll. That man yeah. can really he very hate. decapitated. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? 
Yep. Rough. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Oh. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. All right, beautiful people. I think you? that's probably going to be bad. us for today. And I love you so. Oh, I would love if it would allow me to exit. So. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. Oh. Again? He was... There we go. Oh, thank you all so much for joining on this earlier time. Y'all know for a fact we're about to rain. Yeah, he saved my life. My very time. favorite Neil Newbin. I'll miss him. You make the best. Go give Neil answer. some love. If He's just been chance, just doing sure so many shall. fantastic things, and I'm just so unbelievably proud of him. Thank you all you so much for coming. Longer. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, team. No worries. And I will see you guys next week. Okay? I'll post a schedule. And also next week, Jen and I will be live. It's on Friday, right, Jen? It's next week. Yeah. Yeah. Which I can't Friday. wait. Know about this more. Aslan says <laughs> bye and she loves you. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, and go give Neil all, all of the chat love. Bye, guys.